red tide are single cell microscopic organisms that are naturally occurring in the Gulf of Mexico. Scientists know these organisms as Carinia brevis or K. brevis. When you go to the beach, you can see them sometimes as green, red, or even brown patches in the water, but sometimes you don't even know they're there, they're clear. When these organisms occur in high concentrations, that's when we call them blooms. Red tide organisms are always present in the Gulf of Mexico waters. Sometimes the winds, the currents, and nutrients in the water contribute to these organisms to be present in higher concentrations. When that happens, that's when we call them blooms or harmful algal blooms. And sometimes the wind and waves can cause these blooms to make it on shore. That's when people who live along the shore or are visitors can actually see the red tide. And when that happens, they usually have questions about what it does to them. Red tides occur in Florida almost every year. They usually occur in late summer to early fall. And where they are depends on the wind and the wave currents. And they can even move around depending on how those waves and winds affect the red tide blooms. Red tides can occur almost every year in the state of Florida. They generally last for days or weeks, but sometimes they can even last for months. But they usually change where they are almost every day. So if one beach has a red tide, you can look for another beach that sometimes is fairly close to that which doesn't have a red tide. People who have respiratory illnesses such as bronchitis, emphysema, and asthma are sensitive to red tide. We suggest that they avoid beaches that have significant red tide blooms. If they happen to be at a beach and experience some symptoms, sometimes a short-acting inhaler is effective in reducing their symptoms. Also, we suggest that they seek air-conditioned space, and usually the symptoms go away. If their symptoms don't go away or they worsen, they should seek medical care. Pets can also be affected by red tide. When there's a red tide at the beach, we suggest you keep your pets away from dead fish and sea foam. If your pet comes into contact with water containing red tide, you should wash them off as soon as possible with fresh, clean water. Florida residents and visitors can report illnesses they suspect are from a red tide exposure to the Florida Poison Information Center anytime at 1-800-222-1222. They can also find additional information on red tide on the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's website or the Florida Department of Health's website at floridahealth.gov.